But when you're not having those results, when you're having all that, that tension, all that, that traction that's not there that you hope is gonna be there, persistence will be your friend. In my observations over the years, I noticed that most humans, especially adults, we start and stop different things. We start trying different businesses, hobbies, just to find out what it is that we want or what it is that we like or what we want to do with ourselves in general. And I was caught in this cycle as well. First, I started off doing music when I was younger. Then I started doing my clothing brand. Then I stopped doing that. And I was like, hold on, what it is that I want out of my life? And in reality, I could have kept going and going doing these different things and I probably could have succeeded. I wouldn't even say probably, I would have succeeded because consistency and persistence is how success formulates. And eventually I stumbled upon me speaking, me doing a podcast, me being an author, just getting into the personal development space. And there's a few things that stood out to me that told me this is why most people fail. One of the top reasons I found that most people fail is because they sit around hoping and wishing. They hope that things will work out. They wish that things will work out. But hoping and wishing will not manifest anything into your life. Hoping and wishing will only get you so far. You can hope and wish for so long, but you must pair it with some type of actions in your life. The next thing I noticed is that a lot of people have no direction. They jumping from place to place. They see somebody over here trading stocks making money. They see someone starting a tour business making money. So they want to dibble and dabble at a little bit of everything. They don't have any direction. I want to tell you the most important thing you can do is find your lane. Find something that speaks to you. Find something that works for you. And that's what I did when I started speaking, when I started to be an author, when I started the podcast. It was a feeling of fulfillment, a feeling that, okay, this is what I should be doing. And then I just continued to focus on that. And I showed up every single day with a purpose. So if you have no direction, you're going to continue to fail at everything that you do at life because you're never going to be 100% focused on what it is that you're after. Remain consistent in that one lane. If it makes sense to you, if you really feel it in your bones, continue to go on your journey based on what it is that you want and what it is you started doing this for. And I won't lie on this one, I still struggle with it from time to time, but I do it for a reason because I deal with my own personal things. Sometimes I get in my own head and that is the lack of consistency, but more importantly, the lack of persistence. Because it's easy to stay consistent when everything is going your way, when everything is starting to show up every single day, when everything is aligning together. But when you're not having those results, when you're having all that, that tension, all that, that traction that's not there that you hope is going to be there, persistence will be your friend. Most people will stop at any sign of adversity. Don't allow that to be you. I don't care how tough it may get. It's all a challenge because you've been asking life for more. You've been saying that you want more from life. So you're going to be faced with challenges to see how bad you want something. And most people will fail at this stage. They're like, all right, it's getting a little hard. I'm going to just stop and I'm going to get back to it. And they never get around to it. I'm telling you from experience, whatever it is you begin to chase in life, once you find that thing that works for you, make sure that you stay persistent and set a plan. Know what you're going after. Know what the next steps are. Set those goals, which I've talked about in multiple videos. Consistency is easy. It's persistence that will knock most people off their tracks. This is the fourth thing that I noticed from observing other people and also within my life is that there's no accountability. It's always easy to point the fingers at everybody else and outside sources. When in reality, we are our biggest enemies. That person in the mirror is the one you need to look at. As soon as you point that finger, it's three more pointing right back at you because you make the decision. What do you want to deal with? Will you continue to go after these things that's distracting you? Will you continue to associate with these people who don't support you? Will you continue to do the things that aren't working? Are you being in your own way? A lot of times we stuck in our own way because we want to do what we're comfortable with. The key is getting uncomfortable. The only way you're going to get something is if you step out of your comfort zone. You've been in your comfort zone for so long, that's why you keep getting the same results. Hold yourself accountable for what it is that you need to do and how you need to pick yourself up. A lot of times, we BSing with ourselves, and we need to kick ourselves in the ass and be real and tell us, like, no, you need to get your stuff together. And that's what I'm telling you. Hold yourself accountable. What it is that you need to change in your life. 
Do you need to disassociate with people? Are you still hanging around people or talking to people who don't trust and believe in your vision as much as you do? Because all you need to do is make sure you surround yourself with the right people. Make sure that you notice the things that aren't working and making adjustments to all those things. If you want to succeed at anything in life, go back and watch this video and implement these things into your life because I guarantee every single one of these things are the ones that really helped me transition the most in my life. And I want you to get the same in yours. I want you to start to get those results that you've really been desiring that seems to be getting away from you. If you're facing any type of doubt, I want you to check out this video right up here. It's gonna help you overcome that self-doubt that's sure to come along along your journey. Cause trust me, we all deal with it, you're not alone. So check this video out and it will help you get over that self-doubt that many of us face from time to time. Other than that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button Reach out to me, leave a comment down below. Tell me what dreams you chasing right now. Reach out to me on IG and send me a text message. The phone number is on the screen. Go out there and enjoy your day. And remember, everybody has greatness within, even you.